Do y'all think that because you live in a certain area, your soulmate is in that area? I feel like people, I really feel like people are stuck in a box. Like, y'all think that what you see is what you get. There's a whole world out there, like, explore the world. There's people, there's friends you haven't met, there's men you haven't met, there's everything you haven't met. Certain people find it, like, unrealistic that I found a guy that lives in a whole other country and that it can't be real and that, like, that's killing Somebody told me, like, are you that desperate that you can't find somebody in your own city? What? Saw. I don't go places looking for niggas. I didn't ask to be found. I didn't ask to be attracted. I didn't ask for nobody else to be attracted to me. I went somewhere and it happened. I'm not the first motherfucker to meet somebody in another country and make it work. I'm not going to be the last. People meet people all the time. They move to where their spouse is and they have a good fucking life. Anything is possible in my world. I'm sorry that y'all feel so closed off like you can't do things or I don't know what the fuck people feel, but anything is possible in my world. And if it doesn't work, guess what? That's solely on us not making it work. Anything can work if you put the energy and effort and time into it. I'm aware of the things that can happen with people living in other countries, especially men taking advantage of women for marriage and shit like that. Like, I'm aware. I am 100% aware. Somebody also told me, like, oh, you're smarter than that. Why would you fall for that? Like, what? I'm not falling for anything. I'm trusting in somebody's actions. I'm confused, like, basically, what people are saying is that all Jamaican men ain't shit, and they will use you to get to the U.S. You're trying to tell me nobody has ever fucked with somebody that's Jamaican and had a successful relationship. That's what y'all trying to tell me. People just hear the story, or they see the pictures and videos that I put up, and they just jump to whatever conclusion that they have, and y'all have no clue what the fuck is going on. What if I tell y'all that he don't even want to come to the U.S.? What if he just wants me to move there and be with him and start a family with him and live with him? Like, what? I need to stop trying to crush people's dreams all the time and think about what could happen, what could go right instead of what could go wrong. What you're used to hearing is not always the fucking case that's always going to happen. Let me just tell y'all some shit because some shit has happened to me and I never thought it would fucking happen. But I kept the faith and it did happen. 2005, I didn't have a prom date. Guess what? I entered the contest on Hot 97, and out of three fucking states, guess who won? Me, a prom date with a celebrity. That's who the fuck won. 2009, somebody hit me up, said I should enter this contest on BT.com. Guess what? I fucking won out of probably hundreds of thousands of entries. I can name about three other things that happened to me out of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people, but I'm not going to keep going. Just That's just two. Now, here's the thing. My luck and love hasn't been that great, but that doesn't mean that all the fuck-ups I've been through won't result in somebody being amazing. Sure, I could be one of the billions of women that he talks to or tried to talk to. I could be somebody he's trying to use to get to the U.S. That could Things happen when you least expect it, so I feel like we both didn't expect each other to be so amazing, but we are. Like, shit, niggas can't even be consistent over here. He's been more consistent than any man I've probably ever met, ever consistent. Not only does he say things, he shows me, okay? Actions speak louder than words, so you guys have to realize that.